People, my people. Now, if you watched the recent uh, interview with Sam Wheeland of Black Rabbit, you would have known that I've wandered north of Melbourne to um, just outside Shepparton, a little town called Keala, and sat down with Sam from Black Rabbit Distillery and had a wonderful long chat. So long, it had to be divided into three parts. So I physically travelled north. Tonight I'm going to travel, in liquor terms, up to the northeast to the rural Victorian city of Bendigo. Now Bendigo is part of the, like, the Golden Triangle. It's not the one that's in Northern Thailand that's full of a whole lot of um, heroin. The Golden Triangle in Victoria is basically Bendigo, Ballarat, Dalesford, where basically um, enough gold came out in the 19th century to keep the English Empire afloat, or the British Empire afloat, the, the Empire. And at a recent um, gin festival, I came across noble bootleggers who, um, as is often the case, I'm finding, they set up a distillery, the pandemic. So, and their distillery is called Noble Bootleggers. And I wasn't able to find out quite where the name came from, but I was able to <clears throat> take a sample at Jun the Juniper Festival, Gin Festival of um, the Christmas Pudding Gin. And I went, yes, thank you very much. I'll take that home. I didn't quite have the finances because uh, not enough of you have subscribed in um, YouTube yet to actually go out and say, look, I'll take one of everything. So I had to be very picky. And knowing that winter's coming on and it's getting cold and, you know, all winterish type stuff, I wanted a gin that would really make it easy to drink in winter. So without any further to do, I'm going to pop the bottle that's just appeared right there and let's see how we go. Now, it is a sound of happiness. Very clear sound of happiness. Do you like the new formatting? They are forewarned you with the thing. Now I'm going to pour a part of this into a glass. Um, <clears throat> now, this is a Christmas pudding gin. Now, it is, I think, in basic concept, very similar to Four Pillars, which I just happen to have here, their Christmas pudding gin. So, no, notice similar um, similar colours, in fact, nearly identical colours. This goes really well with custard. Um, you try that, try Four Pillars Christmas gin, my people, and you'll never get putting brandy on your custard ever again. So, we've had the sound of happiness, Let's go for the smell of happiness. Oh yeah. Um, Christmas pudding, and anyone in the Anglo-speaking um, world knows what a Christmas pudding is. Um, it's rich, it's dark, it's that dense, it practically has its own gravity well. And I'm reviewing this on a relatively warm winter's night. There's a whole lot of rain apparently coming in in the next couple of hours, which should make um, doing my other actual financially rewarding job quite interesting tomorrow so it's relatively warm so the aromatics should be up and running on this baby and typically I'm not getting any um, I mean I can smell free cake it's pretty pretty obvious yeah and my professors tell me that this is indeed it's proof so like the Cameron's job out of four pillars, the free cage in. This is this is proof. This is warm the cockles of your heart on any winter's night. But the nose of happiness is not that strong. Um, let's go for the taste of happiness. Oh yeah. Did someone say um Christmas wedding? I think I just did. Um, the write up on the side of the bottle says um, juniper, juicy fruitcake, and spice flavours. Enjoy with ginger ale and fresh citrus. Um, <clears throat> if you enjoyed this with um, ginger ale, you're making a Christmas pudding mule, and there should be a cocktail recipe coming out about the same time as this, and that's exactly what I'll be making with this, um, a Christmas pudding mule, so, because I can. Um, as for what it says on the side of the bottle, it 
Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, as I read it yet again. Juniper, yep, juicy fruit cake and spice. Yes, 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 and yes. So the standard of happiness, corked bottle. Smell of happiness says, yeah, there's definitely a fruit cake in here. And the taste of happiness says, yeah, there's juniper, so it's a gin. Um, and there's lots of the usual <coughs> spices that you would accept or expect out of a uh, Christmas pudding. So without further ado, stay tuned and let's go and watch that um how to make a uh, christmas pudding mule do not forget moscow meals there are far more for things around um to do so thank you for watching that subscribe button shouldn't have been that hard to find and i hope you like the new format and just show your appreciation by subscribe and follow it's as simple as that subscribe follow and get a two for one offer thanks for watching i'll catch you around with um there is going to be a muddle slow um, um mulled slow gin cocktail and i will find something to do with the leftovers of my cherry because an awful lot of them actually involve um killing cherries and i will tell you that next week is going to be another whiskey because i'm going to um try a whiskey made in port melbourne which is about from where I'm sitting, looking, it's about 20 kilometers over your shoulder. Okay, it's that direction. So thanks for watching, have fun. Hit subscribe, follow, and hope you like the new formatting and the new timing above all. Catch you around. Safe tune for the uh, Christmas Pudding Mule. Bye.